and it's the crime drama putting the so-called cold cases in the spotlight. In just a minute, Nicola Walker and Sanjay Fuscart reveal what we can expect from Series 3 of Unforgotten. But first, here's a reminder of their last gripping case. This looks way too preserved to have been in here for any serious length of time. Payment made by Mr. D. Walker. Genius. Then I checked missing persons. Here he is, Mr. D. Walker. We found pretty good evidence to suggest that David was murdered. I want Marion, Sarah and Colin in. All three of them. I want to know I'm not going mad. You don't want to concentrate on just marrying Kelsey for now? No, I don't think so, because maybe they were all at one of these parties. They all knew each other, you mean? Why not? Or maybe all three were involved in his murder. Mine's not in That's it. not. Mine's not and Nicola Walker, who plays DCI Cassie Stewart, and Sanjeev Bhaskar, who plays DI Sonny Khan, join us now. Hello. Hello. It's so lovely to have you. Nice it's lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. Um, Why not her? You just yeah, said no, that her to me, is but rude, I know it? you. Rude. Well, we've never rude, met before. She's just rude. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. We go back, we we go back a long way. We go back yeah. such a long way, Sanjeev. I knew him when he was this big. Oh. You're just starting out. Um, <laughs> we mentioned there six million viewers. Have you, I mean, it is well written, it's an amazing drama, but have you been surprised at the reaction? Because it's grown and grown, this series. I think we... Or did you expect it, Sanjeev? Pleased, weren't we, maybe? Mm, yeah, yeah, I mean, you never expect it, because, uh, you know, the, we, I mean, when we read the script, we thought, wow, this is really, really good. Mm. And then we sat around that table, particularly on that first series... With all those actors. With, you know, Tom Courtney yeah. and Gemma Jones and people like that, and thought, wow, this is really good. And, uh, it, and the fact that other people recognised it is, is lovely, because, I mean, people have a lot of choice now, more choice now in terms of viewing than they've mm. ever had. Mm. So for them to kind of, like, you know give us their time and their choices mm. is, is lovely. Yeah. And in Series 2, I mean, I don't want to spoil it for anybody if you haven't seen Series 2, but don't it is available. It. You can catch up, you can watch it anywhere now. It's brilliant. Oh, they're, they're both series are on ITV hubs. So yeah. They are available. Um, it was kind of, it wasn't like it was unresolved, but it was un... Finished. Punished. It was okay. unpunished. Sort of. Unsomething. Un something. Yeah. Um, how do your characters feel about that going into Series 3? Because I love how there is always that sort of continuity from a previous series. Yeah, I mean, the great thing is you can watch it. If you haven't seen the, the, the first two series, you could come to Series yeah. 3. It stands on its it, own. And yeah. it stands on its own. But for the people that watch it from the beginning, the payoffs you get are the, mm. the way Chris plants in these little tiny character traits. And they are both carrying the fact that they... Uh, you know, Cassie decided not to push forward mm. the case. Mm. Again, and especially huge, really. for your character, Cassie, in Series 3. Yeah. Before we say any more, I think we should have a little look. Oh. Here's a sneak peek at Series 3. The plate was made by a Greek company, Angelos and Christos, based in Cyprus. Now, they didn't start operating till 1984, so that's as old as the plate can be. The Dodge Balcom did various tests on the major bones and teeth. And she was able to determine with actually a pretty good deal of certainty that these remains are actually those of a young female. Between the ages of 13 and 50. So this is not an adult. It's not even a young adult. This is the body of a child. Oh, I'm in already. Oh, gosh, mm. look at that. All my hairy arms are up. <laughs> I need well, to get them whacked. Your arms are up. <laughs> yeah, hairs on them up as well. The hairs the weren't, hairs. it was just the arms. Yeah, just no, the arms she was just like doing it for effect, I think. <laughs> um, but, Nicola, you know, with, with Cassie, you know, Amanda just said, the ramifications of C Series 2 mm. really do carry over mm, in, in her character mm. this series. And that does play quite out throughout Series 3, not just in the professional life, but in, in her, her personal life Both as of well. the characters are going Both to have struggles, aren't they, in yeah, Series and, 3? Yeah, and I think they've never been... They, what's been great about the show is that they've never been presented as... Um, uh, they're, Hard they're cops. Not, they're not, yeah, they're not superhuman. Yeah. They're, they're mm. ordinary people doing extraordinary jobs with a great mm. deal of passion. And there's a fallout of, for that, for being an ordinary person in a very extreme situation, and that starts to affect my character. Mm. You get to find out more about both of their personal lives this time. Mm. Well, and you know what, that's what I love about it, because with... It's a human, it's very human. With the cop, you know, you see cop shows on telly yeah. a lot, and it's always very much, yes, very straight down the line and very narrow, and the cop's very, like you say, superhuman, yeah. if you like. So, Jim, is it quite nice to play that cop role? You know, it's a really important position of a job, but actually be 
as Nicholas said, like, very normal with it's it. It's the vulnerability, isn't it? It's nice to well, play. Well, it's, it's mainly just being employed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think we so what, We're trying to be slight parking. We're grabbing any Friday we can get. <laughs> but no, you're right. The thing is that I think if they have any kind of anything that's special about them, it's unlike a lot of uh, uh, police cops. You know, there's a lot of empathy between them. They're, yeah. they're friends, they're colleagues, and they care about each other and, yeah. you know, uh, cover for each other when they can. And that... It, that is lovely to play, and actually, actually, it is made you know even lovely and so much easier working with someone like Nicola, who and is just so much fun. I think what's also brilliant is the way that Chris Lang has not allowed you to sort of get involved romantically, yes. even yeah. though there was that sort of weird thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that drunken moment in series two. But that must be refreshing because there is always that bit where they sort of will, will they, they won't, won't they, yeah. and it turns into something completely different. Yes. Yeah, you, that storyline has not been chased and it was flagged up last year. Chris went, you know, normally at this point in the script, this would happen, but we're not going to do we're that. Not yeah. And he took that away. <laughs> and what you have, actually, which I think is really unusual, are two people that really love each other and are really supportive of each other, for each other in the workplace and need each other. In as mates. Yeah, yeah. Mm. As but mate. in no other way. Yeah. But do you know what you, I think comes across as well with the way the characters come across is that you do genuinely have fun on set. Like, you, you actually enjoy yourself. We what really is this thing do. with the bag? Yes. Your with the bag. Bag. Oh, your the rucksack. Bag. Yeah, rucksack. Yeah, so, I mean, the rucksack <laughs> was just something I chose in Series 1 because I just thought it was a practical thing to Put carry around. Put your lunchbox in and your flask. Well, you know, the things that you <laughs> do, yeah. Amanda. And, uh, <laughs> a bit of evidence. Oh. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. With the sandwiches. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and then I thought it would be fun to get the props department to just fill it with stuff because it's got to look heavy. Yeah. And, but I said, don't tell me what you fill it with. And I'll just take it out and I'll take a picture of it and I'll put it on Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that. So that's continued into this series. So, so we, we, we get so we a, a, a rucksack of... reveal yeah. yes, at the end we of will. series three. At, at the end of each episode. Oh, end of each episode. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you found in the rucksack? A hat stand, like it Mary Poppins. It was like Mary Poppins. <laughs> I found Mary Poppins in there. Once. It was, uh, no, it was a pair of um, leopard skin stilettos. A pineapple and a tin of pilchards. Oh, love it. That sounds Ooh. like a nice weekend. I like, get... Can't cook, won't cook. Yeah. Won't cook. <laughs> it's Angsley coming out doing yeah. that. With <laughs> the bag of the thing. Um, and Nicola, obviously, you were in the split as well. You worked with Mira, I did. didn't you? I did. And I mean, you. I mean, you said you got on really, really well with Mira, and obviously, you working with Sanjeev now. I get on well with her too. Do you? <laughs> I mean, well, was that, that that segues me quite nice. Obviously, I must say that Mira Sao is Sanjeev's wife, by yes. the way, in case you didn't know. But you played her divorce lawyer in I the do. split. So do you ever worry yeah. if Mira gets the ump that she could give her a call and think she knows her stuff, I know how I'm getting out of this? 100% <laughs> how well they got on. It is terrifying. <laughs> but then she should be worried because we paid the uh, coppers. They are. So you know all the legal side of yep. everything. Yeah. Know the legal side. Mm. Um, and second series of the splits thing come. Yeah, we start filming in uh, uh, February, I think. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Do you get a bit of time off now? For the yeah, summer? I'm back on. I've been back on the school run. But Brilliant! Isn't holidays. it lovely when you go back and your children are like, I don't know which one my mother is. I love anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, thank you both so much for coming thank in you. today. Thank Unforgotten you. Series, series Three starts yeah. Sunday, the fifteenth of July at nine pm here on ITV. Thank you so thank much you. for coming. Well. We should ask you actually. Are you superstitious? Me? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be taking your calls on superstitions ahead of England's big game. And we have got a psychic pig coming on to Don't predict. just call him what a pig. pig. His name is Sorry, Marcus. His name is Marcus. He's got Mystic four representation Marcus. and, yeah, and he's an agent. Yeah, got an agent, 20%. Yeah, he's available. Uh, plus, we're going to be meeting the woman, it gets better, <laughs> who dies her dog. Yeah. Uh, she says her pup loves it. Find out if she's right straight after this.